It's no secret that Australia boasts some pretty awesome reptiles, from massive saltwater crocodiles in the Northern Territory to tiny, delicate little skinks. Uh, Australia has such a diverse range of these reptiles and they all have individual morphological adaptations which allow them to thrive in their own unique environments. And South Australia is no exception when it comes to really cool reptiles. But today we're not talking about lizards or snakes, today we're talking turtle. Hi guys, I'm TJ from Animals Anonymous and today I want to talk to you about the species of turtle that calls South Australia home. Now our first turtle is a Murray River turtle, also known as a Murray Shortnecked turtle. On average they can grow about 30 centimetres in length, with males often being larger and having a longer tail than females. The shell pattern differs on each side with the carapace, the upper shell, predominantly being brown in colour, with the plasteron, the shell below, being cream in colour. They have a distinctive pale yellow stripe running along the side of their head from the corner of their mouth and have small yellow eyes with round black pupils. The Murray Shortneck Turtle's name is fairly self-explanatory. They live in the Murray River and the length of their neck is considerably shorter than other species of turtle. Uh, their neck is shorter than their carapace. Murray Shortnecks are omnivorous due to their neck size dictating their specialised prey. Predominantly they eat large amounts of water plants and algae. So we've just seen a short necked turtle and just for a minute let's compare him to a long necked turtle. This here is an eastern long necked turtle, otherwise known as a snake neck turtle. Because of its characteristically long neck, this turtle can't directly pull its neck back like the short necked can. Instead it has to bend its head to the side and back into its shell. Now let's just pop the short neck turtle away and have a little look at the differences between a male and female eastern long neck turtle. The carapace of the eastern long neck turtle is generally black or deep brown in colour and is broad and flattened with a deep medial groove. Female eastern long neck turtles are characterised by the convex shape of their plasteron and their rounded tail, where males' tails are more pointed and the plasteron is concave in shape. Now these guys are carnivorous and eat a large variety of fish, insects and crustaceans. Now I'm going to pop these guys away now and we're going to have a look at our last South Australian species. And don't be fooled by his size, he might be little, but he will grow up to be the biggest and one of the longest living freshwater turtles. The broadshell turtle is the largest of the long necks. Their combined length of their shell and extended neck may exceed 80 centimetres. The shell is usually dark grey to brown in colour, as is the upper part of their head and neck, while their throat is pale grey or cream in colour. They only have four claws on five toes. These turtles are vulnerable in SA and are threatened in Victoria, and being a long neck turtle, they're also carnivorous and rely on their extended reach of their neck to prey on invertebrates and fish. They're an ambush predator and lie in wait for unsuspecting prey to wander into their path. Although the long-necked turtle is a predator itself, it is often prey to foxes, cats and other feral animals. Freshwater turtles are also under serious threat due to drought and other environmental factors. However, you at home can help South Australia's turtle populations. If you do spot a turtle or a turtle nest, head to the website in the description where you can input information on turtles you see at home. The data collected will help inform researchers where turtles live, how far they travel, and different reasons for the decline in numbers from region to region. By contributing, you'll be helping to grow the bank of data that will help protect turtles in the future. Well, thanks very much for joining me, guys, and I hope you enjoyed meeting some of the turtles that call South Australia home. If you would like to see more from us, please check out our YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Instagram, and we will see you next time.